What is good, YouTube? It is Lord Zhang Fei bringing you episode 16 of the Uber Set Challenge Vidala's Rig. Now, there is no lore regarding Vidala at all. The set was released with Diablo 2 Vanilla and is found in normal. Let's just get right into the items. First up, we have Vidala's Barb. It is a really horrible bow. Such a bad bow that we're using a Necro Summoner. Next up is Vidala's Ambush. Uh, this does have some fire resistance, a little defense bonus, little dexterity. Uh, I mean, for normal, I guess it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, Vidala's Fetlock, the boots, 30% faster run walk. You can never complain about that. All resistance plus eight with a set bonus, so at least it's something. Uh, Vidala's Snare, the amulet you always wish was a tall Rasha's, 20% cold resist, 15 to life, and then 50% magic find with two items. So if you found this early on, I could see it having a MF benefit for sure. As far as late game goes, though, this is totally trash. So like I said, we're going to play it with a Necromancer. There is no possible way you're going to be winning using physical damage. So we're going to go ahead and play a summoner, make us our Iron Golem out of a beast. Definitely my favorite Iron Golem to make. Just the fanaticism aura helps you revive so much. A lot of summoners use a beast double axe. I just don't see a point. So a little fact I did find out about this set when I was trying to research its origins. The amulet was originally supposed to be a ring. And then in Diablo 2 beta, they actually switched it to an amulet instead of a ring. I tried to find the stats on that. I was interested. I had no luck in any of my Google searches, so if you have any info as to the original Vidala's ring, throw it in the comments. I'd be interested to see what the stats were. I did find a website that had links to all of the old items. Unfortunately, though, it was in some kind of weird code, and I couldn't really figure it all out. Get us some Erdars. In case you're new here, Erdar's equal crushing blow, best summon in the game. The skills that we have maxed out, we have max blood golem, golem mastery, and skeleton mastery. Now of course, blood golem is a synergy to iron golem, and about the only way your iron golem is going to get any extra life, so. Go ahead and pull Mephisto here. I kept having this really weird bug, I don't know what it was, but notice he's not spawning any guys uh, this happened almost every time I had a complete set on a necromancer specifically the old sets that you find in normal so I don't know why he's not spawning guys but I, it doesn't really even make it that much easier because I would just obviously use terror to get them away but uh, looking like I'm playing buggy over here go ahead and get bail out of here Try to see if we can get all three of these guys without having to go back for more revives. Uh, the other points we do, I'm a one revive point kind of guy. So one point in revive, one point in iron golem, and one point in decrepify. And we do put three points into summon resist. Give it a little bit of an extra bonus, and then the rest into skeletons. So. We also have Max Poison Dagger. I didn't even respect my Dagger Mancer before I started doing all this, so... Could have been a little bit stronger. Yeah, that's convenient. Diablo's running right for us. Go ahead and hit Terror with these guys. Now, I don't have a lot of health. With no battle orders, we're sitting right above a thousand, so... You can die if you're not careful getting pretty crowded and congested let's our revives are going to be falling on the floor here soon so i'm going to have to get us some more unfortunately uh, it will give me a little bit of time though to tell you about the gear i'm using 
Uh, obviously, the Vidal is set. We have pretty much an um rune in every piece just for the extra resistance. Uh, we also have one of my favorite items I've ever had. It's a Necromancer Circlet with a lot of dexterity, 20 faster cast rate with teleport charges. So obviously you saw me just grab an Enigma out of the stash uh, when we're looking for the Erdars. We can't obviously use Enigma because Vidala's armor takes that slot. So I'm very thankful I have this circlet. Certainly came in handy for this challenge. I pretty much always have either amulets or circlets for each class when I play around just because, you know, especially for summoners, if you're not doing a lot of MFing, I mean, just a teleport charge is all you need. Especially if you're doing like Ubers. So as you can see, Diablo's already hurting. This probably shouldn't take very much longer. Some of the breakpoints we did hit, uh, we were at 60 faster cast rate, so we did hit the 48% breakpoint. And that is 11 frames in between each cast. And then for the faster hit recovery, uh, we didn't quite get to the 148, the ridiculous marker. But we did hit 124, so we did surpass the 86 breakpoint. And that is at 6 frames in between each animation. We have 150 strength, 274 dexterity. Uh, that's for my Dagger Mancer. Uh, the summoner is so good though, I didn't even need to respect, and I'm wearing gear found in normal for the most part, so. This goes to show you, if you're ever trying to do a really early ladder, uber killer, uh, the Necromancer is overlooked. You could probably beat it with a Necromancer with self-found gear faster than a Paladin. Assuming you found a Teleport Staff or something, because you really gotta focus those Erdars in there. But I appreciate you guys for checking this video out. Next up's gonna be Saigons. That was a fun set. 1713. I've had worse. Well, you guys take it easy, and I will check you on the next one. Later.